and it is definitely feeling like the time to be out on the water. Um, even though the water is still cold, we have to preface that by saying the water is still cold out there. But when I was out on the lake on Friday, I saw people getting out paddle boarding and swimming, and it's going to be good weather for it coming yeah. up here. The water temperatures don't really get more comfortable to be in until like late mm -hmm. July or August, but certainly the air temperature being as warm as it is, is going to be driving a lot of people to our area rivers and lakes because got to find a way to cool off. Just be safe out there and follow the rules. Then you don't have to worry and uh, let our patrol guys not uh, be overworked out there. All right, temperatures uh, have been warming up steadily each day. We were in the upper 70s Friday, lower 80s on Saturday, and here we are warmed up to 84 degrees this afternoon after a very mild 58 degrees overnight. You can see we are now approaching about 15 degrees above average, and as I just mentioned, temperatures are going to continue on this warming trend until peaking in the middle of this week in the lower 90s. Currently sitting at 83 degrees. Little bit of a breeze out there out of the southwest at 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies. Don't have to worry about humidity there. Dew point in the 30s. Relative humidity only around 25%. Hot weather is expected for much of this week. We're looking at highs in the upper 80s into lower 90s. Our next chance of any shower or thunderstorm activity, any wet weather will come on this Thursday. And then following that, we should get some relief from the heat. So don't worry, we're not going to be staying in the upper 80s and 90s the entire week, but for most of it, here's a look at the temperature trend. 10 to 20 degrees above average for the next four days or so. And then we'll see temperatures drop with that chance of thunderstorms into the upper middle and upper 70s for highs. That'll be a, a nice relief, but you can see that still above average. So the entire month of May and it looks like the entire month of June could come well above average. All right, the reason it's been so dry here, we do have one area of upper level low pressure, which is now hugging the coast of British Columbia. That's been kind of moving to the north. And we have another area of low pressure that's been kind of sitting in place or meandering uh, in the same area in northern Utah, southern Idaho for the last couple of days. Flow is causing uh, moist air to kind of move in and butt up against the Rockies. And so most of that shower activity has been long and east of the Rockies while we stay dry here in eastern Washington and much of north Idaho. And that pattern will continue for tomorrow and into Tuesday under southwesterly flow. It'll just stay hot and dry here. So future tracker showing dry conditions overnight that we will see a few more clouds, so partly cloudy skies. And again, a few more clouds, especially as you get into north Idaho for tomorrow. So we'll call it partly cloudy. All the precipitation should stay along and east of the Rockies. Dry weather for the rest of us. And it just keeps warming up. Here's a look at regional high temperatures for tomorrow into the 90s in Grand Coulee and just just under 90 degrees in Afreda and Moses Lake we will be in the mid 80s in Davenport Deer Park, upper 80s for Spokane, 85 for Coeur d'Alene, 90 for Lewiston and 86 for Colville. We have hit 90 once that was on May 20th. Looks like we may have a couple more days in the 90s Wednesday and Thursday. Those highs will be just a few degrees shy of any records for the day and they get some relief from the heat by the end of the week.